Hello, my beautiful beardy friends. So do you think your facial hair is growing slower than usual, or is it just an illusion? Let's check out all of the things that could be happening. If you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification because that means a lot to me. Okay, let's go and have a look to see if your beard is actually growing slower or if it's just something that's in your mind. Also check out beardgrowingpro.com if reading's your thing. There's lots of blogs. I need a glass of water, my mouth's dry. Yum. Okay, so the question is, how fast does a beard really grow? Um, and look, it's really slow in terms of its absolute value, but compared to the hair on your body, it's actually way faster. These are the numbers. Scalp hair grows at about 0.36 millimeters a day. And for you Americans out there, that's 0.014 inches a day. Good. Eyelash and eyebrow hair grows very, very slow, and that's 0.61 millimeters a day, or 0.006, so about half as fast as head hair. And now beard hair can grow anywhere between 0.3 and 0.5 millimeters a day. That's about 0.015 to 2 inches per day. Whoa, that's not two inches. 0.02 inches per day, there we are. So beard growth is actually very slow in the grand scheme of things, so there's no wonder when your beard gets a bit longer, adding, you know, a tiny, tiny bit on the end every day looks like not very much. And so that can give the illusion that your beard's not growing very fast or that it's stopped growing. And I know there's been a couple of times in my journey where I'm like, oh, has it got any longer? So beard growth is actually very, very slow in the, sort of the grand scheme of things, but it is the fastest growing hair on your head. So let's have a little look now at the tips and tricks to make sure your beard hasn't stopped growing and how you can make sure it continues to grow strong and rich and full in the future. Okay, the first tip that I recommend is that you take a photo of your beard with your just your smartphone just to see uh, if your hair has actually stopped growing. So the great thing about this is take a photo, put it somewhere, and in about two to three weeks, check back at that photo with your webcam, or you know, take another photo and compare them, spot the difference for beards. So it can be that uh, not having an objective point to compare to can make you feel like your beard has stopped growing, when in fact that is not the case, it's just going very, very slowly. And a little bit of that impatient bug is starting to slip in. Okay, one thing you may not know about beard growth is that beard hair is actually flat. It's like your pubes. It's like pubic hair on your face in a very literal sense in the fact that it's got the same shape. Head hair is circular in cross section and beard hair is flat. Um, and that causes it to curl and have kinks and be uh, wavy in certain areas. Um, but that may actually mean you think your beard's not growing, when in fact it is growing, it's just growing curlier than you expect. Um, so I know there's been moments in my beard growth journey where I thought that it wasn't getting any longer, when in fact I grabbed the hair and I pulled it out and I was like, wow, it is very long. It's just that it doesn't grow straight down. And that's where like beard straighteners, blow drying your beard straight can really help kind of bring out the length and fullness of your beard. Because I think my beard and a lot of beards have a tendency to want to grow outwards. So yeah, don't worry if you're not seeing the massive length gains that you're expecting. Grab your hair, check that it's actually growing by pulling down on it. And also have a look at a beard straightener. Um, I'll do a review on one of those later. But yeah, have a look at a beard straightener or blow drying methods just to kind of tease out the maximum length you can get uh, with your hair. Okay, here are the top five things that I think you can do to make sure your beard growth doesn't stop and that your beard continues to grow in a strong and healthy fashion. The first one is actually eating the amount of food required to keep your beard growing strong. Now, there was a seven year study done where they followed men who ate a lot and men who didn't eat as much. And they found that men who didn't eat as much actually didn't produce as much testosterone as those who ate a little bit less. Now, it's important to say this isn't like 
unhealthy food. Um, you have to make sure you're getting all of the right vitamins, and so uh, A, B, C, D, and E, because all of those play a very vital role in your beard growth. Okay, the second thing is, you may actually be going through a change in your hormones. So at different stages in your life, uh, hormones will change and fluctuate. But importantly, that if you feel like you're going through that right now and you're seeing your beard growth kind of halt, you're probably ex experiencing other bodily kind of issues that are related to those hormone changes. So please don't muck around with this one. If you do feel like you fall into that uh, basket, make sure you speak to your health professional, your doctor, your GP, or a specialist about it because it can be very serious. You know, in puberty, your hair grows, and I've got another one about beard growth at different ages. And as you pass, I think it's about 30, your testosterone level drops um, not very much, but about one to two percent a year. And so uh, that may actually sort of start impacting your beard growth. Uh, and yeah, those are the things you need to make sure you're uh, completely comfortable with from a health perspective. So if in doubt, if you really feel like your hormone levels have changed and you're experiencing different body things other than just your beard, go speak to your doctor. Okay, the third one, that one, the third thing that I would say is perhaps your beard growing routine is a little bit too harsh. Now, I've just talked about how you can use beard straighteners and blow dry your hair straight and all of those things to style your beard. Now, wet hair is really weak. The more moisture in your hair, the easier it is for it to break. So after a shower, especially after a hot shower or bath, um, after shaving certain aspects, if you're using hot towels, that can main, mean your beard is not as strong as it could be. So if you're brushing harshly, if you're blow drying too much, if you're using beard straighteners, um, if you're towel drying aggressively, you need to look at all of those moments and see how much hair is actually falling out because of your beard hair routine. Um, now, this is something that I think a lot of us can do too much of. I quite often give my beard like a couple days off over the weekend. If I go camping where, I just let it be. And that means that you're just giving your beard a break from all of the harsh stuff that you put it through on a daily basis, just because you want to look cool. There's no harm in that, is there? Okay, number four is that your hair may actually just be slow growing naturally. Now that's okay. Um, there's a series of sort of uh, genes and uh, genetic makeup that actually decides your hair growth. Now broadly it fits within a large spectrum and you sit somewhere in the middle. Um, it could be that you're on the lower end of that and that's absolutely okay. The way to sort of like gauge this is to look at other males in your family, have a look, is their hair growth, their beard growth slow? Can they grow a good beard? Um, but yeah, it could be that you're just on the the sort of lower end of um, beard growth speed. Yes, that's what this is all about. Okay, number five is probably the most exciting one, and that is sex. Um, having sex can actually improve your beard growth. Now, there was a paper in Nature, which is the famous scientific publication, sort of uh, magazine uh, for scientists, that says that if you have sex, uh, your testosterone levels increases. There was a gentleman in 1970 who realized that just before having sex, like the anticipation of having sex, uh, if he was away from his wife for a couple of days and also the couple of days afterwards, he was getting more beard trimmings um, in his uh, collection tray from his shaver. So he started to weigh those and found that this anticipation and in the first couple of days of having sex, um, his beard growth increased. So uh, that could be a nice cheeky reason for you to uh, seek more sex because it could actually help improve your beard growth. 
Okay then, so there are the five things that you can do to make sure your beard grows. And the good news is it probably hasn't stopped. There's a load of reasons for beard growth to slow down or have the illusion that it's slowed down, but it's probably not that it's stopped altogether. So make sure you look after yourself, that you're not over grooming, which is the biggest one. And uh, yeah, just have a little bit of patience and your beard will continue to grow. I am in no doubt of it. It's also very unlikely you have reached your terminal length. Terminal length is so very, very long. Um, go check out my article on Beard Growing Pro about that. But yes, please remember to subscribe if you want more beard facts and information like this because it, I love it, it helps me a lot and I love sharing the value and things I've learned about my beard growing journey with you. Okay, my beautiful bearded friend, I shall see you in the next video. Get in my beard.